YouTube. Uh, thank you for tuning into my channel. Gonna do something a little bit different this today. Um, I'm going back over to my buddy's place, uh, Sparky's Acres, riding with Sparky Mark. But uh, want everybody to keep a very good friend of mine in their prayers. She's in the hospital right now, and uh, prayers go out to her and her family. She's me and her were very close. And she's in the hospital. So, uh, just hope she makes a speedy recovery and everything. But, uh, we're, uh, I'm sure I have to trim some of this. Settings on your GoPro. Now, I was when I first got it. I was rocking 2.7K at 60 frames per second. And uh, wasn't realizing just how much data that was taking up in 60 frames per second. Uh, that's it's working the GoPro pretty good. Was it getting much battery life? Then I, I'm doing all my editing with my. I have a Samsung Galaxy S22, and uh, it's a it's pretty pretty doggone nice phone. And. I don't have enough, I didn't, I was running out of room. I was having to drop the quality and then when you filmed it in 4K and then you drop it down to 1080p in the in the converter, it, it just wasn't a good, it wasn't, it was a fuzzy picture. I, I didn't enjoy that. Now, I got, and I had the sharpness at its highest, bit rate all the way to the max. I was like, I'm going all out. And uh, when I was watching some of my older ones, you could see the, the grain, you, it, yeah, it was sharper. Yeah, it was the bit rate made it, you know, clear and everything, but it was grainy. It was, and then the processor is going on with the shutter rate and uh, the light settings and everything. It was, it was, it was just overboard. It was so much information. Didn't it? Also, 60 FPS. Sometimes, and with the stabilizer on, it can make it look like you're going slower than what you really are. So I bumped it up to 4K, dropped the FPS down to 24. I've, uh, let's see, what was I saying? Then dropped the sharpness from high to, to a medium, and I brought the bit rate down. And oh my word, at the data savings, the battery life, um, rocking the Wind Slayer. When I'm riding, I like the Wind Slayer. Um, because I go in there and turn that wind reduction off. So if you don't have that that little program running that processor, for when, it's even more battery life. So it, it so, so here we go. <laughs> YouTube. I know I talked about going to Cub Mountain this weekend, but things just didn't line up. Ended up riding a street bike, and so we're just out here fiddle farting around. Feeling a weird rattle in my rear end. I'm not liking it. We're gonna have to give this old hornet some attention. This KTM runs like a freaking champ. So we this driver side front shock or pogo stick. Ooh, man, it just sounds rough, but I don't get behind it. But anyway. I think this one up here is shot because it's bouncing and bottoming out everywhere. It beat me to death. I gotta put some new shots on here. It needs some love.
time in between a open beginner and a C. I'm right in there. Just my dirt. I'm working on it though. Typically about three laps and I'm ready to take a break, but pushing through it. first wave hits you, you dig a little deeper and push that's what I need to do just push through it and let the second wave hit out. 
on my knees. I'm also got a little fly, fly weight. Go out like sideways. Oh. <sighs> 
But I could help it. I was getting into the zone. Uh, I broke out of sweat. <laughs> There's a four wheeler. You don't mind that I did that, right? You know why, right? That was beating the shit out of me. Whatever. Ground seems kind of soft, don't it? Now you just hit me a faster one. <laughs> Well, keep this in mind too. If you're ahead of me and I cut through here, instead of trying to cut in front of you, I'll just turn my helmet and get you hitting that berm. I know I've been trying to do the do some stuff like that. I, I've gotten some of it, but it's different when you got your eyes focused on in front of you and you're going so fast through these trails. And I turn to look, I, I about smacked a tree doing one of them, <laughs> trying to get a shot. <laughs> That's what happened to me up there. <laughs> yeah. I ain't got no camera on me, but I was sitting there looking at I was like, where's he at? Wow, oh, I hit the burn. You need to ask everybody what they want to see on the next upcoming video. Well, what do y'all want to see? Y'all want to see us go to an HOV park or see something different or? Too old to be racing. I don't know if we're too old to be racing, but it's too expensive. Got my racing out of me. I get one hard crash. Get to where I can't work again. It's it's I'll be up a you know what creek without 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 that shovel. I know that's no excuse, but I did just go through knee surgery trying to keep up with him and my kid brother. Jesus, <laughs> he's like the Energizer Bunny. He just rode 20 laps. Now let's go over here and dig a new trail. <laughs> what was that? All kinds of rocks. Damn. You're just bulldozing it. Yeah, I was just plowing it, man. <laughs> there you go. Good try. Well, there's a, quite a few different lines. You got this one here going. That I made that one too. And then that was fun. I like this one. This one right here. Yeah. If it wasn't for that corner, this is fun. This corner ruins it. But now this right here should be fun. But now it's a little bit sharper curve here. So it it already when you come through here, it the it's already leaning really far. I want to see you slide from this corner all the way around into the creek turn tokyo drifted it wants to lean and feel like this when i'm trying who go for a hole there that on camera Jesus <laughs> I 
<laughs> Would you mind pushing that down for me? Thank you so much. I was looking down at the pen and I heard you make a noise and look up and it's 20 foot down the way. Right. We're going to wrap this up, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember, hit the like button. Smash the comment. Wait. Okay. Comment the smash and smash the like. I don't. To be good time, you.